This is all I know to start with. Okay. Hi, Pat. Hi, Peg. I'm glad you decided to come in here today and do this with us. I'm going to start off by asking you just tell me what your full name is. My name is Thomas Francis McInerney. Okay. And how, how was your name? Were you named after anyone, or is that? Well, not necessarily. After my uncle. You were named after Thomas? Was that Thomas Davenport, yeah. Okay. And what part of Ireland do you come from? I came from a place called Kinvara in the county of Galway. Okay. And were you where were you born? In Ireland. Yes, but where? Were you born at home or in a yeah. hospital? Or? Oh, I was born at home. In, in Kinvara? Yes. Okay. And what's your date of birth? August 19, 1927. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Do you have siblings? Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I got um, three brothers and four sisters. Uh, and where are and they five now? Five sisters. Well, there's four of them here. Four sisters here, and, I got, and a brother. And I got a brother and a sister in Ireland. Brother and a sister still in Ireland. And, yeah. and back in Canberra as well? Yes. Uh -huh. and they in the area, like, you know. Would you just name off your sister's and brother's names? Uh, M M Michael. Well, he died last year, by the way. Uh -huh. Michael, myself with Thomas, Martin, and James. And, your, and the girl? With Mary. And Bridie, and Christina, and Anne, and Theresa. Theresa. Okay. And they, some of them live right here in this area, don't they? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, where did your parents come from? From the area of, of Kinvara. They, they all came from Kinvara? Yes. Yeah. Kaharna Madra. Kaharna Madra is called the village of the dogs. Village of the dogs, really? In, in English, yeah. Okay. Kaharna Madri. And what was your mother's maiden name? Winifred Davenport. Davenport. So it was her brother that you were named for? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, were your grandparents also from the same area? Does it go back a long way? Yes. I don't have too much memory of them, to be honest with you. Yeah. How, are there still people on your land right now, on your family land? Oh, yes. My, uh, my brother's kids. Have inherited? That yes. land. And how yes. far back does it go? Do you know how far long ago the land's been in the family? Oh, it's been back in a couple of hundred years. Mm. And how did they come about it? Do you know? Is it well, that's a good question. That's a question that's kind of hard for me to answer, too, because I don't actually know. Okay. You know, I mean, the land was divided at one time, you know? Yeah. And we got, and got that portion. That's right. The history in about Kinvara, you know. Okay. There is a, what is the his, what is some of the history about Kinvara? Oh, there's a lot of things, you know. Battles fought there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There was a place not far from uh, from Kinvara. It was called Clock Ballymore. It was, <coughs> if I can remember, it was a place that was haunted, and uh, there was a spirit being there, and. Uh, it was in the reign of King James, actually. That's how far back it went. And it was called the Long Black Hand. Am I correct in this, Joanne? Well, you're the one yeah. who told me that. Oh, yeah, it was, it was quite a story. I, it's too long. There's about a hundred verses in it, you know? Oh, it was it like a poem or something? Yes. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know if I should recite it. It's too long, you oh, know? go ahead, John. Plenty of tape. There's some tons of tape. In olden days when Seamus reigned and plenty crowned the land, the spirit was seen in Killeen's church. It was called the Long Black Hand. No traveller ever passed that way from setting sun till dawn, but was by this malicious elf half murder on the bawn. The church wherein she lay was built by Coleman, son of the was three from my three long miles from old Tyrone and two short miles from Clough. Now Clough belonged to Andrew Lynch, a man of large estate, but yet he felt dissatisfied the church being near his gate. Ten thousand pounds he would lay down with thirty hides of land to any knight an Irish sile that would slay the long black hand. 
and with that too his daughter Kate, a maid divinely fair, whose golden tresses loosely hung her down her soul was bare. The offer was large, the gift was great, no hero would a man to undertake for love or gold. This lay the long black hand. And thus the elf was left at ease for three long years or more, till Lynch's friends a visit paid to him at Ballymore. As Anna says, there also came a bold and valiant knight, O oh, by to God he'd have revenge on Killeen's church our spirit. Jeez, I, I kind of forget it, I think God. Beautiful. It is quite a poem. You've got a million of these. It's beautiful. There's one poem about the Cayley, McMorrin's Cayley. Oh, I don't I know that. Said, you know, I bet nobody, that's not written down any place. Yes. And I think that somehow I heard that about the Long Black Hand someplace before. You probably did. I know it all too, mind you, but I seem to get kind of caught in it. And is that, now. that's a Kinvara poem? Yes. From the Kinvara Oh, yeah. yeah. That is, it's beautiful. With the long blonde hair. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful wording, huh? Who, do you know who wrote that poem? Oh, God, I don't know. That's as old as Methuselah's cat. Yeah. And how did you learn that poem, Tom? I learned it going to school, believe it or not. Did you? Did you yeah. have to learn a lot of poems when you were in school? I mean, was that uh, required? We did, a few of them. The interesting ones, you learn fast, you know. Yeah. More, more of an interest in it, you know. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. What was school like? What was school like when you went to school? Joanne well, said you had an interesting story about your first day. Oh, when I went the first day I went to school. I didn't go the first day myself and my brother. We, we could pass as twins, you know, because there was only 13 months in the difference between us, and we looked so much alike. But I didn't want to go... <laughs> School, the first day, I wanted to find out from my brother what it was like, you know. So I, I went the second day. We had to bring our uh, birth certificate. Mm -hmm. We had a little a copy, we used to call it, you know. And, and I lost it in the way of going to school. <laughs> and the teacher asked me where it was, you know, and I said, Oh, Jesus, I lost it. <laughs> How old were you when you started school? I was seven. Seven. Seven, I think about six and a half or seven, you know. And what was the school like? It was, uh, those girls and boys were, the boys were in one part, and the girls were, well, there was no girls in our school, right enough, in the first school we went to. But uh, we had the first, second, and third in the upper level, and the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth was in the bottom, you know. And you went on each year, we went on to... And how many teachers would have been in a school that size? Two. Two teachers? That's all. And how many students would be there? Be? Oh, there was quite a few, you know. You figured maybe... Uh, there must be 70 or 80 altogether. In the whole school? In the whole school. Yeah. There would be maybe more than that. And what time would so. school start in the morning? How long would Nine o'clock to three, three. Three in the afternoon. Yeah. So you brought your lunch to school? Yes. And in those days there weren't school buses, I'm sure. No school buses. We walked four miles in the rain and everything. And how about summer vacation? Was there summer vacation? Six weeks. We got six weeks. I think it was in July and August. Then uh, I remember reading about people bringing turf to school to, for the fires. We didn't, mind you, but they did in parts of the country, you know. But uh, they used to get it delivered from... Lorry Lord, as we used to call it, you know. Yeah. To whatever. And, and were they, uh, what were your teachers? I mean, were they religious teachers or were they um, did priests or. Oh, well, pastors? they were all religious teachers in Ireland. They, they didn't like they beat it into you. Mm. That wasn't a good time. Oh, yeah. Did you ever get beaten? Oh, I did more times than once. <laughs> and not for being good either. <laughs> they beat the sense into you, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, now, the home that you were born in, was it. Was it not part of a farm? Yes. Yeah. A farmhouse. It was a farmhouse. And who uh, did the whole family live there? Did you have grandparents or anybody that lived there? Uh, no, I, I had my uncle. 
you had an uncle, your mother's brother? Yeah, the one when I was my father's brother. Your father's brother, yeah. Okay, and and so what kind of farm was it? What did you do on that farm? Oh, it was an ordinary farm, dairy farming, a little bit. Not much though, but it was agriculture, you know, sugar beets and potatoes and stuff like that. And did that, was that how your father made a living? He didn't have a yes. job? Yeah. yeah. So it's different. Rest of livestock too, you know. Yeah. Chickens and things like that? Oh, yeah. We had yeah. Chicken, turkeys and geese. So you, so it was a really self-sustaining type yeah, of farm. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, if you were standing in the doorway of your home as a kid and looking out, what would you see around you? Just see animals, cows. And chickens and geese and you name it. Rocks. The rocks and Some more rocks. rocks, yeah. Rocks and more rocks. Do you have a lot of stone walls around? Oh, the indeed we did. Well, wasn't the Cromwell said about uh, Kinvara? Walls? Yeah, that's what Cromwell said. There was enough of, there wasn't enough of, uh, what the heck did he say anyway? There wasn't enough of land in to bury him in. And there was not enough of water to drown them. <laughs> and I don't know what the third one was. <laughs> there was no trees to hang them from. <laughs> uh, no trees to hang them from, yeah. That was Cromwell's version of it. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> did you live close to the sea where you were in Galway? To the You're close to the sea where you oh were yeah, in Galway. Oh, yeah, as close as I am here. Yeah, yeah, that's close. Oh, you're yeah. Close, you're close here, yeah. Um, what kind of uh, things did you do that were fun? type of things when you were a kid? Well, it's more or less sports in the line of sports was hurling more than anything else. Our part of the county was a great place for hurling. And were you a More so than for football. Oh, yes. And how, how were you a, a local hurler on the local yeah, team? Yeah, the local team, yeah. And how, how old were you when you started that? Almost eight, eight, eight I guess, at nine. You know, when we started the school, we were at the hurley with us. As a matter of fact, we liked it so much we used to take it to bed with us, the hurley. <laughs> really? That's right. Yeah. So nobody would pick yours up by the stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah right. uh, and, and did you play it all through school? You, you were a hurler all through Oh, yeah. School? We used to play after school, too, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and you were on a, a, what kind of a team? You were on a, a, um, a Galway team or on a school team? I was on a school team, you know, a parish team, we used to call it, like. Okay. What was your parish, by the way? I didn't think to ask you that. The Kinvara parish. Kinvara parish, okay. okay. That's one of the oldest churches in Ireland, too. It is. Is it? It, oh, it sure is. In Kinvara, it's supposed to be the oldest church in Ireland. I'll have to go and take a look at that the next time I'm oh, there. Oh, it'll, it'll, it'll be worth it. Yeah. Um, what kind of things did you have to do around the farm? What were your kind of chores did you have to do to help the family out? Well, we planting potatoes, and uh, we had uh, turnips and sugar beets when they came in. Then we had the corn, we used to have to cut it, you know, and when it was ripe, and thrashing it, uh -huh. and all that. How about the turf? Did you have to, have to dig the turf? We didn't have any turf in our part of the country. There was no bog in our part. In that particular part of Galway, there wasn't any bog. Is that unusual? And is it unusual? Uh, well, yes and no, like, you know, because there was so many rocks in it, I guess there was no room for <laughs> turf. <laughs> where, where did you get your turf from then? We used to buy it. It used to come from Connemara, more or less, and some from County Clare, too. Okay. Yeah. And <coughs> when you bought it, you still had to do the stacking? And oh, yeah, we'd make a reek of it, we used to call it, you know, yeah. and cover it with straw to keep the rain off it, you know. And how, what did you feed the animals? Oh, we fed them. They had the grass, and we had turnip, and, and hay, and stuff like that, you know. What was your favorite chore? My favorite? I didn't have a favorite, <laughs> so it's to hear the truth. <laughs> Did you milk the cows? Did you have to do that? Uh, no, I didn't, mind you. We didn't, our, uh, we didn't have much of a dairy farm. We only had three cows, I think, just enough for our own use. That was before the milking machines that they attached yeah. to the cows, I imagine. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That was. <laughs> so you were big into sports, but did you also get into, like, drama or any? Or no. No. How about uh, dancing? You're a dancer. I know oh, you're a Oh, I used dancer. to love to dance. 
Yeah. And how did you learn how to dance? Who taught you? Oh, geez, I taught myself, to tell you the truth. When we used to have seats when during the war years when we were coming up, you know, and they had the country homes, all the dancing was in the country home because the people didn't have the transportation. And they had the old, his master's voice, the gramophone, as we used to call it, yes. wind it up and play the records. Oh, we were at it from the time we were able to walk, you might as well say. So did you go from house to house? or? Yes, oh yeah. There'd be different houses, have different dances, you know. And did, how often during a, a week's time would you be doing that? Did they call it rambling? You'd ramble? Yeah, the that's, time? oh yeah, got it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Gallivanting. Yeah. And how, how often would you go and do that? Would that be in the summertime? Oh, more often it was in the wintertime. Winter it was a big thing in the wintertime, more so than in the summer. Then the dance hall opened up. In Kinvara, they had Johnson's dance hall. And that was a good place to meet the young ladies? Oh, that's you? where we met them, the young and old. <laughs> yeah. Before that, you would just kind of know the neighbors that you Yeah, exactly, dance. exactly. Well, you had the advantage of having their sisters. They were all pretty girls, so everybody would come to that house. Yes. Yeah. Oh, true. we had plenty of company. Yeah, I would imagine that's right, yeah. And, and... Uh, and did you have storytellers, too, that would come? Did, would that Not that many, mind you. There wasn't many great storytellers. There was a few here and there, like, you know. Mm. I, I remember cousins telling me about, uh, I guess, uh, traveler, traveling people that would just show up at certain times of the year and they would bring the news of what was going oh, on. Oh, they used to be, they called them the tinkers. Did you have that? Oh, yeah, place? they were around there, you know, but they were travelers. They went from one county to the other, you know. And they would do chores? Oh, they wouldn't do any chores for you. That was begging, you know, more begging. than anything else. Okay. They used to always like, they'd sit up camp and stay for two nights or three nights, all depended, you know, mm -hmm. especially in the month of the, in July, you know, when the, when the potatoes would be ready for digging, you know, the, they'd camp near them and do a job in them at night time. Oh, they, <laughs> oh, they take away the... Oh, yeah, <laughs> help themselves, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Did you, does Kinvara have any, like, special festivals or anything that it has regularly? Not in my time. They didn't have too much. Like I said, it was the war years, and there wasn't that many. There, not, people didn't have the transportation, you know, so it was more or less locals, whatever went on, you know. Didn't they have the Bachelor's Festival in huh? Kinvara? The Bachelor's Festival. Oh, yeah, but I didn't. That was after my time. That Did was that, come, that started after your time? Yeah. Kinvara? I thought that that was ancient for some reason. Oh. Hold on one second here. Wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, that uh, was, was a, it was a seaside resort, actually. Well, it wasn't actually a seaside resort, but they had sulfur bats there. It was a place where people used to go that had rheumatism. It was and curative? Were, pardon? Was it curative? If you yes, to? oh, yes, it was. They had a rhyme about it, uh, cured and list on Varna, where the sulfur waters flow. It was quite a place in the summertime, but you couldn't go near it hard in the winter, you know? Because it was cold? or Oh, it was cold, you know. Oh, you wouldn't be able to go in the water then. Yeah. That's right. right. <laughs> and it, did it have a bad smell to it, did the sulfur waters? Does it have a... Oh, a it was terrible, uh, you know. It, it had that yellow shade to it, you know. And, uh, 